Just so. Vietnam. 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 Just so Vietnam. Hello and welcome to Just So Vietnam, the program where we take 10 minutes per episode to tell you everything you need to know to get the most out of your time in Vietnam. My name is Martijn, I am the main host of the show and with me here is Sam. Sam is my co-host. Hi Sam. Hi Martijn. Ciao bad. We'll get back to Sam later during the program. Today's episode we will bring you from the north of Vietnam all the way down to the south where we focus on places, entertainment, events and food. The city of Hue, in the province of Thua Tien Hue, is famous for its king's palaces and tombs. One of them, King Tu Duc's tomb, is now preserved digitally in Google Arts and Culture. Just by one click, foreign travelers can now enjoy the beauty of this heritage site from anywhere in the world. And this is great news for people who enjoy a good view. Because what better way than view the cities of Hue and Da Nang than a bird's eye view from an airplane? The first seaplane flight between Hue and Da Nang took off on the April 25th, offering three options of 30 minutes, 40 minutes or 80 minutes flights, costing 87, 155 and 266 dollars respectively. There are eight flights between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. that depart from Fubai Airport. Don't miss the chance to enjoy those stunning views. Expats, tourists and locals in Ho Chi Minh City that are in need of a ride now have more taxi services to choose from. Two new app-based services named GoCar and FastGo have been permitted by the authorities to run a pilot in the city. These two new taxi services bring the total number of app-based taxi firms in Ho Chi Minh City to eight. And this is good news for customers because more choice creates better services for lower prices. Check in Proud of Vietnam is a new competition that is very popular among travelers. It's very simple to participate. All you have to do is take a photo or selfie, post it on social media and add the place where you took the photo. Travelers have the opportunity to send in their photos between the 1st of May and the 30th of November. Pictures and videos can be sent in via the app CV or posted on Facebook using the hashtags shown on the screen. There will be prices every week and every month in each category, and in total there is over $86,000 worth of prices, including cash and gifts from sponsors. So now it's time to get to our co-host Sam. Hi Sam, how are you today? Did you already send in your photos for the competition? Oh, yeah, of course, I sent my best photo already. All right. That's good to hear. So, what is your question for today? It's great! Follow me! Cho em mod for go, yeah? We may hear about fur long before we have the chance to eat it. It's really going global right now, creating trends wherever it goes. Therefore, being in Vietnam, especially Hanoi, no traveler wants the chance to miss this dish. But do you know the perfect way to eat fur? Let's dig in with Just Ask. Pho is often translated as beef noodles or chicken noodles, but actually this dish is so much more. Pho actually refers to the special kind of flat rice noodle that's used, and it's served with broth and meat. Different customers like to eat different things with their pho. You can choose from things like chili, lime, fish sauce. It perfectly comes with quay and chada. You can find pho on any street corner in a main city. Pho is often eaten for breakfast, but in truth, you can find it round the clock. Pho should cost between 30 to 50,000 BND. That's about 1.5 to 2 dollars. Oi, oi, oi. Actually, nowadays there are a lot of vegetarian restaurants that specialize in serving pho. They make the broth with mushrooms. Delicious. No trip to Hanoi is complete without trying a bowl of pho. I hope you guys enjoy yours. I'm going to dig in with mine.
Thank you, Sam, for sharing that information with us. The hot summer days are just around the corner, so this is the perfect time for us to investigate into places to go to for when the city gets too hot. Let's take a look at some experiences that can help you plan your next getaway. Let's meet Gary Flynn in Just Try. My name is Jerry Flynn. I'm assistant editor at Hot Table magazine. Uh, we're based in Hanoi. We write a food and drinks magazine looking at the human element behind the dishes that make Vietnam so famous internationally. We're here at Ba Bay Lake. We're a long, long way from the hot table office back in Hanoi. It is more peaceful than you could, you could ever imagine for Vietnam. That looks very nice, Gary. So let me ask you, why did you choose Ba Bay Lake? Hot table generally cover things happening in Hanoi or down south in Ho Chi Minh City, but I've been sent out on something of an expedition to try and find out a little bit more about the local cultures outside of the big cities in Vietnam. Okay, and uh, can you maybe also share some of your experience with us? Uh, what impresses you the most over there? Out here in Bac Thanh, life is very different. There's a rich, diverse range of cultures here. A lot of different ethnic minorities inhabit these mountains, so we're going to find out a lot more about them, about their cuisines, about how they can survive in what many would consider inhospitable conditions. Ba Bè Lake is a green pearl in the northeast of Vietnam. If you travel there, you have a good chance to explore and experience the close to nature life. Let's take a look at how Gary is trying to catch a fishing over there. With seven kilometers in length and more than one kilometers at its widest, this is a perfect environment for fishing. You can see the local people fishing are traveling in their dugout canoe named Đọc Mộc. They skillfully stand on their boats, which are made from one chu chunk, and although extremely narrow, they glide effortlessly through the water. On the hunt for anything sentient in the lake, Chiu Van Nu's net catch everything from small stream to fish. Every day, Nu goes out on the water for four hours each morning and each afternoon. He taught Jerry how to do it, but it's quite hard for him to keep the balance. That's fine, I can get I can sit down. That's cool. How much fish do you catch? Going fishing in Ba Bay Lake is an interesting but not an easy and relaxed activity. However, meeting with local people, especially this fisherman, who openly invites our guest, Jerry, to his house in Park Ngoi village, is really nice experience. It's a traditional Thai way of preserving food. So back in a time when you didn't have a fridge, you'd have to ferment things to make sure it didn't go out of date, so here it is, pretty simple. Cứ 
là mình trộn đều xong thì mình sẽ bỏ vào cái hú để ủ tầm 2 đến 3 hôm là mình có thể bỏ ra ăn được Thank you Gary for sharing your just try experience with us. I hope we have provided you with enough information to have a good overview of, of the beauties of Ba Bear Lake. If you decide to travel here, not only will you find a sense of peace, but also you'll have a good chance to try the local foods and experience traditional Vietnamese culture. It's definitely a good place to go to during the hot Vietnamese summer if you've got a few days to spare. And with that, we come to the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. And as always, if you want to stay up to date with Just So Vietnam, be sure to follow us on Facebook and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.